start off with some liquid white. So we do a bit of a landscape here today. Let's put some good light on this canvas. This is uh, this canvas has three coats of gesso that I made. There's a recipe for making your own gesso on my site. You can find it under the Art Topics playlist. few canvases I have with this just this particular gesso mix in it. <clears throat> the reason is this gesso causes this liquid white to dry up really fast. I don't know why it just does. It's really hard on the camera to kind of show you what I mean, but this corner up here is already dry. So we'll probably put a coat or two on here just to help out with the blending. some more as we go along. I don't know. We'll see. However much liquid white you get used to putting on, just learn to control it. If you get too much on, if you're a beginning artist and you just get a little too much on, it's going to be a little slippery for you. A little too slippery probably. So, you know, but learn to control whatever you got. Go with what you got. And if you can do that, you can use almost any kind of paint you want. Almost any kind of brush. All right. So I have a couple ideas here today that I want to off on a couple of canvases so hopefully maybe we'll get a couple of these done I don't know we may or may not we'll see we're gonna start off with some Indian yellow and then let's see some yellow ochre I'm using a variety of different kinds of paints today I'm not stuck on any particular kind of brand of paint although I do like gambling and I do like Grumbacher, but, all right, so let's kind of start off, let's just start off dead center. And we're just using like an X, the X stroke, the famous X stroke. We'll just blend that out to kind of use it up. All right, well, let's pick up a little bit of that yellow ochre. We're not going to clean the brush. Let's pick up some yellow ochre. We'll kind of go around the outside of this, but we're not quite touching that yellow in most cases.
And we might add some liquid clear to this in a minute. Matter of fact, I think we'll do it like it right now. And the reason for that is because, again, the liquid, the white, the liquid white is dried really fast. So we'll add a little bit of liquid clear here. Loosen this back up. That'll help it blend a little, a little easier. We'll put the liquid white away for the moment. We might get it back out later. Wipe my hands off with just a um, baby wipe. Don't have a particular brand I like. I'm not a baby wipe connoisseur, so let's just take. Hey, you know what? I was gonna add some, some red to that, but I don't think I will. I think let's just let's go to Sienna. Without cleaning the brush, let's just kind of add some sienna to the edges of this. Maybe we'll just kind of keep it in that yellow, yellow brown type. some more in a minute. Now. now I'm going to do something a little bit different going back up to the canvas. I'm going to go back with a little bit of this look clear. Go back to the center here. these lines between these colors.
All right, let's clean the brush off. All right. Now we want to put some highlight in there. Let's do that. We'll just do that with some titanium white, I guess. That'll work fine. I don't think we have a lot of titanium white in this episode, but yeah, we'll see. Who knows? It depends what we end up painting, I guess. I'm just you know, a little bit of a hair on there. So. so now we're just applying this titanium white right to the center. And I don't think we're going to actually pop a sun up in there. We just want it to be right in here. That's all. That's all. Alright. Alright. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's clean the brush again. Now, I'm going to add some, start adding trees. Now, you can add trees however you want. I'm going to add a bunch of trees, probably, before it's all said and done. But, you can either paint the branches first. I'm not too worried about this part being blended too much because I'm going to put trees all up in here. But let's start off with some background. Let's just get, I don't know, let's just stay with a one inch brush here. So let's just take some of this yellow ochre. And a little bit of this sienna. Let's just kind of pat some. Size your brush. And you can use this if you've got enough paint on your brush, then you can actually take let's go back up here just a little bit and add a little bit more paint. You can actually take this brush and just kind of add some trees in a distance like this. Just by pulling the brush up through the paint. Alright. to sketch this out. So I think uh, that looks pretty good. Alright, let's take and uh, let's take a script liner, I guess. And let's see. We'll go back. We'll, this time we'll just use straight sienna. And let's put a few little trees in here, just a few. trunks than I am interested in anything else. Just a few. Alright. Just a couple little now you can take and add some other just little like little things like this, you know, just to put some things in the distance. If you want. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything, it's your world. Do what you want to do. Alright. Let's take a loser and crimson. Take a little bit of a loser and crimson. 
just a little bit, not much. We're not going to have a lot of crimson in this, but I think we're going to take Lizard and Crimson along with a little bit of this uh, Sienna to kind of tone it down a little bit. And let's just kind of, uh, let's see. I'm going to also add a little bit of this yellow in here. same kind of color. A little bit of sienna, a little bit of um, a little bit of um, lizard and crimson. start adding, well, let's see, before we start adding a foreground, I'm going to add a few more bushes right in here, but before I do that, I have some big trees that I want to put in, and so let me get that. So we're going to need some sap green, which I do have some of that on the palette already. Let's add a little bit more. Now this is um, Gamble 1980 sap green. decided if I like it or not. But decide for yourself how you like it. All right, so let's take a little bit of uh, blue. I've got some blue on the, and some green, and some sienna, just to keep it consistent. Make a nice little dark color here with that. Throw in a little bit of red just for the heck of it this crimson. All right. Now I'm thinking like right in here is going to be like where we're going to put like a barn or something. Maybe a cabin. Maybe a tent. I don't know. But something. So let's just kind of figure out where these trees are going to go. Let's put this one in first. close this tree up too much because I want to be I want to have room for birds and stuff to fly in and out of there so I don't want to close it up too much All right. let's make some off in the distance a little bit I'm not even sure that'll be that might be the tallest tree
So I'm just, as I'm loading the brush, I'm just taking it and just mixing the color right on the palette. All right, we got one, two. Six. All right, let's put one more in here. So let's just have seven, seven little trees, and let's make this guy just a little bit bent. Maybe like have him come in like this way. Doing a Bob Ross kind of weird bent trees things. Bob loved those trees. having so much fun I just want to keep putting trees in. Let's put two more in just to make it fill it on out. in there. Alright, let's put a little bit of let's clean let's clean this brush. Alright, so we're gonna pick up a we're gonna keep this fan brush out for the moment. Maybe I'll switch back to one inch brush. I think I can just cover ground faster. With that. So, let's see. Let's lighten this up just a little bit. Bring it on over this way. Just to kind of start blending the landscape together a little bit. Pull some of that color in. Some of this color. Alright, and that looks pretty good. And we'll come back and add highlights and stuff in a second. <laughs> start building out the rest of this stuff let's put I want to have another tree in here and I want to have a, a cabin in here so let's just kind of do that so I think we'll 
take a little bit of green light brown, just a bit, just a tad. And we'll sketch in, we'll sketch in the cabin, just just to get it sketched in. Now you can make your cabins however you want. You can make them taller or skinnier. You know, whatever, whatever, you, whatever floats your boat. Just taking it back, moving the paint back to the edge of the knife. That's good for a start. Now, let's slap a little bit of highlight on there. Let's take some lizard and crimson, and a bit of this yellow. Didn't get much paint on there, so let's try it again. That's exactly what I was looking for. That streaky, streaky looking color. And we'll add a little bit of that over here. Not much. All right, that's good. A little bit of a cabinectomy here. highlight on that roof. Let's take a little bit of that. A little bit of this color we used to make the trees. We'll kind of like that. Alright. Now I want a little bit of that yellow this edge of the cabin, like that, and maybe down this way, alright, that's good, alright, so now we got a cabin, now I gotta, I'm gonna put another tree in here, before I'm done, but I need to paint off my fingers, alright, that's, Green and some yellow. Kind of tap in here next to this. All right, I'm gonna clean this brush because I got a little too much of that yellow ochre content going. I don't really like that so much. So let's uh, let's go back and pick up some green. Let's pick up some sap green. Let's start. Let's start adding that. Yeah, I think that'll look better. And we want some other colors in here too, so we'll tap some stuff here and there. I don't want this just to be a you know vacant landscape. All right. So add a little bit of highlight right in along in here. I'm 
This might not show up so much right in the beginning, but it'll show up here in a little while. As we go, as we go. So I want this green and yellow to kind of mix back and forth and kind of alternate this in this landscape. Different colors. I don't want the landscape to all be one color, you know, if you get my drift. And just make it softer and softer. Alright, let's pick up a little bit more red out of sap green over here. That'll probably be the end of the gambling sap green. Alright. Let's uh hmm. I think I will throw in a little bit of the Prussian blue with this as we're coming forward. So we just run a bead to that out. Alright, let's see how it looks. Let's pick it up. It's probably going to be much darker, and that's okay. Get that blue in it. Now we're going to put the tree in here, and then we'll start adding some bushes and stuff in here. Kind of bust up this landscape some. Take a filbert and some mm. let's take let's just take this filbert and we'll just kind of draw the trunk to start with. Let's get going with that. So now we're painting over paint we just put down. Now, we're working it in amongst this other tree that we have here. So we're using that some of that paint and some of the paint we already put down. I want this tree to have a split like that. Okay. And I think, really, I think that'll probably do for this tree. Let me, let me throw some others in there, but I don't know that I will. All right, let's switch to... A script liner real quick. And we'll just create some additional branches here. I don't want a lot of branches, but uh, we'll add a little bit of highlight to this. We'll add some highlight to this tree, I think. Let's have like a branch that comes out here, like that. And I don't think we need much more than that. Let's pick up, let's clean this brush. All right, so we're going to script line this, let's see how this works out. Maybe got just a little bit of yellow and some white. I had to clean this brush a couple times probably doing, that, doing it this way, but I think this will come out pretty good. Okay, 
put a little bit of white and a little bit of brown, or maybe we can switch back to blue. There we go. That looks okay. Okay, now we're going to add some we're going to add some leaves to this, but I want to do it with a filbert. So I'm going to use a small filbert. Where's my little bitty filbert? Here it is. All right, we need some. Um, all right, I'm going to need some yellow, some bright yellow. Now this is I've never used this paint. Okay, I don't guess I will use this paint because it's still closed. Well, I'll come back to it. But let's go with uh, maybe some of this. Let's go with some cad yellow. And some bright red for this. I want this little tree. It's not going to have a whole lot of leaves, but I want them to stand out brightly. So we'll put three different colors on here. If this works out the way that I want it to, we'll find out in a second. All right, let's start with the red, cad red. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about brightening up this cad red um, where it hits these trees. I don't really care too much about that. Because we're going to come back with some other colors here in a minute. Enough of that red for now. Let's take this cad yellow and a little bit of thinner. So we're using clear medium to do that with. Yellow just doesn't seem to have enough pigment. Um, it seems to be sticking okay, but it's not. It's like there's not enough pigment. All right, it's okay. Hang on, we'll try something different. So I'm going to switch over now to this uh, Georgian paint and see if. See if it's me or if it's the paint. It could be paint. It could be me. Okay. Alright. 
crisis averted. Let's move along. Green and blue, blue and green. other stuff on this landscape in a minute. I'm just going to get it in here for right now. Keep it kind of dark. Now you don't have to tap it. You can just kind of brush it in if you want like this. Nothing wrong with that either. Um, and then just tap on the highlights. Whatever whatever you feel like doing. It doesn't. I just tend to tap. I just, I'm, sometimes I'm just a tapper. I'm going to clean the brush because I picked up some lint black that time a little bit off the palette. But it's okay. It won't hurt nothing. But Maybe we should put some water in here. It's too bad we're not live. I could just ask you guys if you guys could do that. Scrub that color into that canvas right there. All right, tell you what, let's do. Let's add some. Let's add some water. Why not? Maybe we'll even add a. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get some. Yeah, how about some phthalo blue? out of my palette. <laughs> Alright. Tell you what though, before we do that, let's nah. put a little bit more liquid white down right around here. Trying to meet the color as much as I am just trying to slick in the canvas back up and make it just kind of slide across there. All right. We'll push this back up into the landscape, and then we'll come back. Try to make a little more dark blue down toward the front, indicating a little bit more depth in the water. Clean that brush. Now we're going to stick a little bit of a little bit of shoreline in here, but while we're doing that. I think we shall also, well, let's just do that first. I mean, uh, Windex Brown, right here. Now you can put this in with a brush if you so desire. Coming up with an idea here, so we're gonna leave this middle part here open for now. Let's kind of get 
Make it a little bit thicker right there. All right, let's bring this on around to about right here. All right. I'm gonna pick up some titanium white and I guess some vine deck brown since that's all I have on the thing. I'm gonna kind of create a, a marbled thing here. Just kind of. Create that little bit of shoreline structure. Just letting the canvas take what it wants and put the rest back. Okay. Let's put some water lines in real quick. Like that. Hello, baby girl. Hi. How are you? Say hello to all my stream buddies out there. We're not live, but we're still streaming. Are you ready to make Christmas cookies? I don't know how many cookies we're actually going to make today. 10,000. No. Oh, come on. We're definitely going to make the Krispies, but I don't know how many. I think we're going to get one set ready because you have to like refrigerate them, the dough, before you can make them oh, yeah. in the oven. I think all the rest we're going to save for tomorrow. And then what happens? And then what happens? And then we wait until tomorrow, make all the stuff, and then make my dad taste test everything. Oh, I love the taste testing part. I know. Throw a little bit of blue in here like this. This is the part when I'm getting down toward the end, I'm like, oh, I know what I want to do with this painting. Because prior to that, I usually don't know. All right, now we can do it. I finished two paintings yesterday. They're over there. I think you've seen them before, though. The tarantula and the couple sleeping. <laughs> what? Yeah. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Just want to square away this water on this side, and then we'll be about done. Okay, so let's just I think we'll try to do it this way. Let's do it this way. So we're just double loading this brush. And we're just kind of creating these rocks here on the side. This creek. And then on this side, we'll put a few weeds and things. We don't need a filbert brush for that. I'm gonna have to go back and make sure I got all these brushes clean because Let's see, just a few weeds. So let's just uh, let's do it with a paintbrush. 
So pick up some green. And we'll slap a little yellow in with it, like that. And let's just see how that goes. add one little bit of waterline to that other side, to that other little stream over there. I think we can probably do that with this. Maybe. If I got enough paint left on the palette, no, don't make me get more paint. All right, there we go. And with that, I think we'll call it done. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for coming along. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I don't think I'm done. I have a couple of things I want to do. Let's get out this brush. And again, let's double load this brush. And let's kind of put like... And let's just add a little bit more into this up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, that'll do it. All right, guys. Hope you're having a great day out there. Hope you're gearing up for a Merry Christmas as we add these last little few touches to this. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. 
with your family. We're almost out of 2020, so hang in there, and we will see you on the next one.